maybe. And we're live. Cool. Okay. So happy birthday, Parker. We are live. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we go. All right. Yeah. Parker. Crashed his car on the way to school today. Eight. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Nineteen. Twenty-eight. Oh, Twenty-eight. Okay. So here's our objective. What we want to do is translate and transform functions. Okay, fancy words, but you need to know the math words because they pop up on either math exams sometimes, but the, the words mean this. Translate just simply move. Translate means to move it, okay? So when you translate something, you don't change its shape. You just move it. That's the word translate, okay? But when you transform it, like transformers, remember transformers when you guys are little kids? Oh, yeah. you, you're also going to change the shape, okay? Bro, change shape, okay? So if we have a parent function, we can take a parent function and move, okay? So on the first one, right at the back, um, f of x equals 1 or y equals 1. That's my parent function, okay? So the parent function looks like straight across at y equals 1. Okay, there it is, right? Okay, there you go. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to move our parent function to y equals negative 3. So we're going to translate it down to negative 3. Okay, so then my movement just takes it 1, 2, 3, right down to there. Okay, so I made a translation, okay? So describe it. What happened? Just use words. What do we do? So you're not, not going to move it down 3 from the original spot. Right, down 4. Right, we moved it 4. Nice job. We moved it 4, didn't we? Yeah. We really moved it So describe, it just went down. We're going to use words. Just went down four okay are we good with that domain what's my domain how wide is it it's, all, it's infinite right so we're going to say x because domain is the x variables how wide is the x variable along the x-axis equals all real numbers right but i like the cursive capital r because that means because I don't want to write all. You can't read all numbers. I like the curse of all, which really means count that on a test absolutely. In fact, that is you'll see that on off. That means all real numbers. You can yes, either one. Okay, the symbol means all real numbers. Okay. Now, what about the range? How t how tall is it? It's just at negative three, right? So let's say y equals negative three. Okay, good. Thumbs up. Not too bad. Okay, let's look at number two. So here's my parent function, okay? Here's my parent function. Y equals X, okay? Y equals X. So it's invisible numbers plus zero, right? Invisible numbers, it's a 1X over 1, right? So we start at zero. And I'm going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, so forth and so on, right? There's my parent Function, connect the dots. Here it is. Okay, now, if we're going to graph the translation, we're going to take it down. One, two, three, four, right? And our new slope is up two over one, up two over one, up two over one. Okay, everybody agree with that? So we get our new graph, which is a translation. So in words, in words, it's kind of weird, but what did we do? In words, what did we do? What did we do from, so we took it four down, so we went down four. And then we doubled it, so we made it twice as tall. Good, down four, totally agree. Down four, and then I like what you said. Um, Caden, I'm gonna say that we made it twice as tall. So we did a, you ready? We did a vertical, we did a vertical stretch of two. So we did a vertical, vertical stretch. By two. It's twice as tall, right? So we did a vertical, vertical stretch of two. Okay, thumbs up. Domain. Yep, X equals all real numbers because it goes forever in all directions, right? Forever, back and forth. And what about range? 
all real numbers. It's forever tall and forever down. Okay, so range is y equals all real numbers. How am I doing? How am I doing? Have I confused you yet or am I good? Okay, Julia says thumbs up. Okay. Okay, turn the page when you're ready. Okay. All right. So example three, our absolute value. Remember what that looked like? It was the V, right? So if I want my Y equals absolute value of X, it looks like the V. And the reason it works like that is when I plug any number in, it becomes positive, right? So I plug in negative one, it becomes a positive one. When I plug in negative two, it becomes a positive two. When I plug in a negative three, it becomes a positive 3. When I plug in a negative 4, it becomes a positive 4, and that's why it works the way it does, okay? So here's your parent function, right? Okay. Now, how about this one? Let's see if you remember this one. Ready? Which way am I going? Which way am I going? Which way am I moving? Right, right. Your way. I'm going to my right, but it looks to you like I'm going to the left. Doesn't it? So whenever it's on the inside, it's always the opposite way. And I'll tell you why that works. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this. We're going to move it to the left. Two. And then we're going to go up three. Okay? So it's, it's always the opposite of the inside. Remember when I touch that? Always the opposite. So it's always the opposite of the inside. And I'll show you why in a second, because there is a reason why, if you care. Because some of you actually do care, okay? So I'm going to go to negative 2. I'm going to move it back 2 and up 3. So it goes right there, okay? Okay, there it is. Moved it back 2 and up 3. Now, all right, why? Why? And I want you to know why, okay? Okay? Lauren, you listening? Why is it the opposite? Well, think about this. This is its lowest spot, isn't this? It's lowest y value, right? What number here would make it zero out? What number here? Think about it. What number here would make that zero out? Okay. Negative two, right? So negative two for the x would make this the smallest possible. Again, that's why it is always the opposite, because that makes it zero out. Okay, now, so describe. What do we do? Give me words. What do we do? Yep, so basically it's right there, right? Describe, we went left, two, and up three. That's my translation, okay? Um, domain, how wide is the new graph? X equals, it's forever wide, you guys agree? It's always going over, all real numbers. And my range, greater than or equal to three, who said that? Because it starts at a height of three, doesn't it? It doesn't go down. It starts at a height of 3. It doesn't go down, but the graph goes up. So y is greater than or equal to 3. Nice job. Okay, parent function. Here we go. y equals x squared. All right. So everybody watch. I want everybody. All eyes up here. Seriously, all eyes. Everybody look. Look, look, look. Okay, right here. It's 0, right? What's 0 times 0? Zero? 0. Boom. If I go over 1, what's 1 times a 1? Wow. Everybody watch. If I go, whoops, I got the wrong color. My bad. There you go. Not the parent function. If I go over 2, what's 2 squared? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? If I go over to 1, 2, 3, what's 3 squared? 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, now, you ready? Everybody watching? What's negative 1 times negative 1? Positive 1, right? What's negative 2 squared? Negative. Positive 4. That's okay, it's all good. What's negative 3 squared? Positive 9, right? And then you know it's symmetrical. You guys agree? It's a parabola. It's symmetrical. So if I graph it in. So I can do this pretty quickly by my head just by knowing 0 times 0, 1 times 1, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. And then it's symmetrical, right? Okay. 
There's the parent function. Okay, now, what about this one? What about this one? What do you think? Yeah, what do you think, Isaac? Flip it. It is upside down because of the negative. So instead of going up, so opening up, instead of a smiley face, it's going to be a frowny face. Okay, nice job, Isaac, because of the negative. So he's totally right. So it's going to be upside down, upside down. And then where am I going to start? So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Okay, right here. Now, let's do the same thing. Let's take this graph and flip it upside down. So from my vertex, I'm going to go one, one, but upside down. I'm going to go two. What's two squared? Four. Two, one, two, three, four. I'm going to go over three. What's three squared? Nine. So I'll go three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's symmetrical, right? It's symmetrical. So I'd have to have a point here. I'd have to have a point here, and I'd have to have a point here, and there's my graph, okay? Okay, so describe. What do we do? What do we do? Four. Okay, we went, we translate up four, we, so we moved it, translated, translated up four. Good. And then what do we do? Okay, let's use our flipped it. Yes, yes, flipped it. How? I mean, yes, yes. The Give me more. How about if I use some fancy words? How about a reflection over the x axis? Yeah. So we also did a reflection <coughs> over the x axis. Okay. And we already did our journal, so you can cross that off. Okay. So if you said flipped it, I wouldn't mark it wrong on a test. But the better way to say is it is a reflection, right? Can you do that before you right now? Yes. So really, these, thank you, these two steps really should be reversed. You guys okay with that? You would reflect it first and then translate it up. Thank you, Azana. That's exactly right. Okay. How's that? Thumbs up? Good. All right. So, stop the recording.